Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe, maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yeah, somebody wants me. Let me ask you this. You have a lot of people reaching out to you every day. Mm-hmm. Kids wanting to be on your team because it is it's a it's a known brand when you get all those emails what do you look for in a kid like not even this year but like what's going to be a pure deal killer and what's going to be a kid where you're going to keep continuing the dialogue to learn more about them what are some of those characteristics i think i think the biggest thing is the kids should have people that are there to support them if i get an email from a kid uh and it's just kind of them and it's just kind of a bunch of information that doesn't really tell me anything. And it's a, uh, and it's a highlight tape of them in the first five or six clips aren't very good. I, I erase that email. I'm not really having that kind of dialogue with kids. Now, the biggest advice I would give to kids trying to get placed, if you have somebody, you know, like yourself, who's helping them get placed, or they have an AU coach or a high school coach that really believes in them, that is more likely going to at least get me to read fully and watch the highlight tape completely. Uh, because if, if I can relate to somebody who's in a similar position as me and they think that their kid can play at my level, then I'm more likely to read it uh, and, and kind of go through that. And then it just starts the dialogue from there is just, Hey, no, I appreciate you passing this along. Uh, you know, you look good on the highlight tape, hopefully. Um, and I would love to start a dialogue. And, and basically what I do is, I send them some game film of us and say, hey, how do you see yourself fitting in here? And I almost try to test, test their college or their, their basketball IQ. What do you think about what we run? What do you think about our defense? How do you see yourself fitting into our style? Uh, and if they're taking the time and effort to do that, to see how they can fit in, then I think it's a kid worth me pursuing because they're obviously dedicated enough to watch it, see what we have. And they're not just falling in love with the name of New Hampton or Hey, I'm just going to go there because it's, it's this place that's highly recommended. They're actually putting in the effort. And, and the other advice I would give, don't, uh, don't tell a college or don't tell a, a prep school coach that you're a high level prospect or use the same adjectives over and over again. Like if you're using generic adjectives, like I'm hardworking and uh, you know, no one uh, is in the gym more than me to me, that's, those are very broad statements that I don't, I don't think you're good enough because you're just saying that you're going to work really hard and you don't have a real skill set. So I don't, I don't feel like you're really going to fit into what we're trying to do.